So if in real estate, it's all about location, 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 and violin, as many teachers and pedagogues will tell you, it's all about intonation, intonation, intonation. Um, and although intonation is not the most important thing in music, whoop, don't tell anybody I said that, um, it's the bread and butter of our profession. And you need to play the right pitch, and it's so hard, okay? It's so hard in, uh, uh, with the violin, and nothing is marked, everything with your ear, and so what will people will tell you, everyone will tell you, and they will be right, play slow. So if I have a, let's take, a, let's take this run from uh, uh, the, the Bach double concerto. Oh. So hard, very hard, repeats itself a lot, a lot of the time. The first thing you want to do is really just make a mistake, you want to repeat. Use a machine, I mean use your phone. Uh, there are plenty, plenty of uh, apps out there that will measure intonation. But that's your basic and that's great. That's what you should do. But performing it in speed is a different matter and it doesn't really relate so fast that if you play it five times slow you can actually play it fast. So there are ways to accelerate this and I want to speak about two techniques that I use that you know almost get me there and keep my mind fresh and uh, the first one is to prolong certain fingers that I choose uh, on, on the run that will warp the rhythm that's the price I pay that I warp the rhythm for for that particular work I then I bring it back with a metronome or something, but it helps me uh, keep everything a bit fresh. And let's say I, I use first finger, and every time the first finger comes, I check my intonation. So the first one is the, the G, D, G, F sharp. Or I can do it on a four, fourth finger. So that's your first um, technique. You just choose a finger and just prolong that particular finger to check every four, usually it will be every four or five notes. You'll need to, on average, you'll need to stop and really listen to yourself. And another way, another way of doing this is prolonging a certain note. Uh, let's say that I want to prolong every G. So I have a G. Another G. Oh, I can do it on an A, I can do it on an F sharp. You can, you can decide. So this, these are two different techniques that let you play a little bit of a few notes fast, but you need to all the time stop and listen to make sure that you're playing in tune. I hope this helps.